This was my biggest fragrance haul so far. Hi guys, I'm Tiago. Welcome back to my channel. Here we talk about fragrances and today I have a very special video because I've done my biggest fragrance haul ever. This might not be much to some people, I know. Uh, I've gotten four fragrances. Usually I limit myself to one fragrance a month. I don't want to get every fragrance out there at once. I have time. I'm not in a rush. Um, I don't like to have infinite fragrances that I just leave there uh, catching dust. But uh, this time I got four, which is new for me. <laughs> Here's the box. Got them all on Beauty Now, and I was only able to get this whole uh, these four fragrances because of you guys. I just was able to afford it because you use my code there on Beauty Now. Uh, this is not a paid promotion or anything like that. They're not asking me to do a video or anything like that. You have my affiliate link in the description always and you can use my code to have 10% extra off. I get a small commission, it adds up of course and it helps a lot. It always goes directly to the channel. So in this case there were fragrances that you have re requested a lot in the past so let's get into them. I got three Amouage fragrances. I know, madness. Let's start with the oldest one and I was very excited to finally have this in my collection because I've tried it years ago. Uh, the older type of box formulation if you want to call it. And it is Portrayal Man. And all of these are in the new square box, so there you go. I've, I will show the presentation just for Portrayal Man, but uh, they are they all have the same presentation pretty much. So it's a sleeve box, it slides up like so. And by the way, I have done unboxings for all of them. Uh, you might have seen them on my shorts. Uh, if you haven't, go check them out. So continuing, it then opens up like so and the fragrance rests inside. This is like a velvety texture. And here is Portrayal Man in this beautiful bottle. This is really stunning. I mean, let me just wipe it off. This is just, I mean, stunning stuff with this oily kind of effect on the inside of the bottle. It's like painted inside. Incredible stuff. This and Journeyman and maybe Overture Man might be some of my favorite presentations ever. But I mean, I love the smell. This, if you like 80s style fragrances, this is, this is special. I mean, at first, at first glance, and many people compare this to uh, Fahrenheit, I don't get that many similarities, to be honest. I know Fahrenheit well, because my grandpa used to wear Fahrenheit. Uh, he, he, he wore, a lot of different fragrances, for example, Ch uh, Chanel Platinum Egoiste and the original Egoiste as well, and also Fahrenheit. Um, I remember him wearing like barbershop style fragrances. He always smelled clean and uh, freshly shaven, let's say. And uh, one of them was Fahrenheit. And so I know Fahrenheit from memory, from my childhood, and I've smelled it a lot, of course. This doesn't smell like Fahrenheit to me. It has a very prominent note of violet. And for me, I have worn it like two or three days in a row since I received this, because uh, I just couldn't help myself. This is beautiful. I get, I get both violet flowers and violet leaves for some reason. I get a very floral side to this, especially in the opening. It's very floral and soapy to me. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I mean, there are only three notes listed. Uh, I get more. I mean, this is much more complex than this, just three notes. I don't like that trend of companies saying there's only two or three notes in a fragrance. That's that's nonsense. There's a lot that goes on into into a fragrance. So. I got a very floral and soapy opening. It it does smell kind of oily, uh, but in a watery way. So you you know when there's like oil in an, in the as asphalt or in in the pavement or something, and then it rains or just some water spills in uh, on top of it, and it just shimmers just like the bottle uh, in this rainbow effect, and it has that 
oily but watery feel up top and vegetal and floral uh, and very soapy. It, it smells great in the opening. It's kind of fresh and uh, clean, very clean. And then um, it develops, I do get some of the vetiver, that's another one of the published notes, but in the far dry down, and it's a clean vetiver, it does have some earthy nuances, but it's overall a very clean experience. And there are some sharp, smokier touches here and there. Uh, they come and go, uh, they're not a constant in this fragrance, I don't think, at least not for me. And for the two or three days that I've worn this, <laughs> as soon as I got this, my girlfriend actually complimented me more than once. <laughs> it was like, mm, you smell good. And then a few minutes later, you smell really good. Like more than once a day, uh, which I was very surprised for because she usually, she usually likes the more mass appealing stuff. I don't consider this mass appealing, but it's not that challenging either. So this is a very versatile fragrance and I'm very excited to have it and to wear it. Portrayal Man by Amouage. Now let's keep going in chronological order and the other Amouage that I got that I was so excited to get because uh, I just, I mean, <laughs> this is up there. This is really, really, really freaking amazing to me, to my taste. And it is Overture Woman by Amouage, of course, it's just stunning as well. This textured glass, uh, translucent, it's just gorgeous and the white crystal up top and the like uh, bronze metal cap and badge, just gorgeous. And the fragrance is just opulence. This is opulence in a bottle, really. This is, I don't like apple usually. I don't like apple accords. It, they usually come across very sharp and synthetic and very off-putting to me. They usually give me a headache, but. There are so far two exceptions. One is Promise by Frédéric Mal, of course, one of the best green apple accords that I've that I've smelled uh, personally. Um, and the other is this Overture Woman. And this is wow, it's boozy, it's rich, it's so opulent. It opens up with this boozy apple, really. It's a boozy Calvados liqueur. Calvados is it's an apple liqueur. Uh, it's like an apple cognac of sorts. It's it's an apple liqueur. It smells rich and it's strong and it feels very rich. And right along, there's a lot of saffron. And saffron usually can smell a bit plasticky, leathery, uh, hot. It smells hot to my nose. Um, and it sometimes gives me some sort of, you know, heartburn as if I've eaten something very acidic or greasy. But... <laughs> I don't know why, uh, it just does. For example, when I wear um, Faiza from Ramo Monigal, it has a lot of saffron, and sometimes I do get physically heartburned. Um, go figure. But <laughs> this doesn't do that, at least not for now. I've worn this once, and it was glorious. I mean, the Calvados, the saffron, uh, and then it gets ambery, and the, there's this big, full red rose, so rich and opulent and just glorious red rose that just plays along beautifully with the fruity opening, boozy fruity opening. There's a bit of spiciness, I believe there's cinnamon in here, and the base, there's labdanum, there's a, like this ambery accord, let's say, and it's also a bit leathery, so uh, it's resinous, there's a bit of myrrh, uh, and myrrh can have this slightly earthy facet to it as well, um, along with the labdanum that's thick and resinous as well. And it's just, it's an opulent fragrance. It's a grandiose fragrance, but it doesn't wear as heavy as I would expect. I've worn it with 30 degrees, uh, which is a rarity here in Belgium, but uh, it happened. <laughs> I've worn this and it smelled great. It was so diffusive. This is so strong. And I'm super looking forward to wearing it more. Overture Woman by Amouage. Now the third Amouage that I got is Royal Tobacco. This has been requested a lot by you guys. Uh, here on TikTok, Insta, uh, you name it. And it was a hype beast when it came out. I believe it was like two years ago, maybe. I might be wrong, but I believe so. 
and this is a resinous bomb, a licorice bomb, really. It's, I, I just have to open the cup and hold it up like this, and I can smell licorice dry. It's scorching hot and dry. Really, it makes my mouth dry. <laughs> my mouth turns into a desert when I smell this, no joke. It's really hot, scorched, super dry. I mean, I can't stress that enough. It's uh, it's an explosion of licorice, but like burnt licorice. So this is meant to evoke a cigar box uh, that Renault um, had in mind from his childhood. Also, it's meant to represent the whole cigar experience. So just lighting up a cigar and smoking it and savoring it. And I don't smoke, by the way, so I don't know. <laughs> but that's the inspiration, supposedly. And it is a hugely complex fragrance. And it's huge, really. It, this is probably now one of the strongest fragrances I have. Up there with Promise, for example. It's really huge. Um, it's very complex. It's a lot of, uh, has a lot of things going on. Like up top, it is a bit more aromatic and has a bit of lift. There's uh, basil and a few other herbs. There's a hint of lavender, but it's not, doesn't play a big role. Uh, there's a lot of spiciness, of course. There's cardamom, there's uh, pink pepper and Sichuan pepper. There, it's, wow, it's very spicy and dry. And then these very heavy, it's this, <laughs> This, if, if it was put on an olfactory scale, it would weigh tons. It's just, whew. It's, it's a piece of work uh, by the ever so busy nowadays, Cécile Zarroquian. She created something, I think, very special, uh, which is a rarity nowadays in, in the modern amouage. But um, yeah, this is, there's a lot of resins, uh, there's a bit of vetiver as well. It it dries down very resinous and dark woody, really. And the tobacco, of course, is very dry. And th there's a lot of facets to the tobacco. Um, there's a hint of sweetness in the background, but it's not prominent. This is not sweet fragrance. And yeah, the, I can't wear this right now in the heat. It would be a bit too heavy, uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this and colder days because yeah opus 14 royal tobacco the last one is not an amouage it's a fragrance that i've wanted for years one of the first niche fragrances if not the first niche fragrance that i've tried ever uh, which is also normal is a classic a modern classic by now uh, it's tower l'air du désert marocain and i'll show you quickly the presentation it also has a sleeve it's like like this, and then this matchbox-like presentation, it just slides up. There's a little card with a note saying enjoy Andy Tower, written by hand, which is also just lovely, and the fragrance rests here. It's not very secured, but when it's all assembled, it's it's secure enough, it, it won't fly away. And this, like I said, this is, it's a modern classic. This is the bottle, beautiful bottle, say, Pentagon like bottle, the label here says the name, and here you have tower. This is just transportive. It's meant to be transportive. It's meant to be a portrait of the warm air passing through a souk in Morocco, a spice market, uh, if you will. Um, and it smells like everything you would experience there. It smells very dry and uh, spicy and aromatic. There's a lot of spice. There's these. There's this um, sparkling cumin up top with a lot of neroli or orange blossom. It's a very characteristic smell in Morocco. Uh, there's a lot of neroli, uh, well, orange trees around and neroli smells everywhere. Um, and uh, it's very spicy and dry, uh, but in a very airy way. So. It, it it's very versatile to me. I could just as easily wear this um, in colder weather and just right now in the heat. There's also this uh, like airy salty butteriness to it. I don't know if it if Tower uses real ambergris or not at this price point. I don't know uh, if he does. 
must be in a lower concentration. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's there's this buttery saltiness, airiness uh, running throughout the fragrance that smells like ambergris, just without the animalic part. And it's just fantastic. It's a classic, a modern classic for a reason. And I finally have this in my collection. I cannot believe it. And yeah, Tower Life de Desert Marocain needs no more introductions. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my little haul. I know this isn't much for a lot of people, but it, it's, it's a lot for me. <laughs> I've never bought four fragrances in, at once. Uh, and this is only possible because of you guys, because you use my code on beauty now. Uh, I get a small commission for every purchase you do with my code. It adds up and helps me a lot. So I bring this to talk to you guys about them. Of course, I enjoy them a lot. I'm not a hypocrite, uh, but I'm very thankful indeed. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot. I mean, you get cheaper fragrances as well. So it's, it's a win-win really. And I'm not being paid by any brands. This is just, you know, go to a website. They are ac excellent. They have great prices and uh, I, <laughs> I use them as well. I already used them before having a code. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed me rambling about these fragrances that I love, that I got. And see you in the next one. Bye.